Go ahead. Where we last left off, Alrune landed. Kel was with him, Karkel, but he had to go off. And leaving just Alrune sort of leaning or sitting on the body of the giant fallen tree giant, smiling and looking out at all of you, basically revealing. Yeah, no, this was simply a uh, test. See if you were ready, you know? Hmm. And you guys passed. Good for you. I feel like they're a simpler test. I'm gonna need y'all to speak up. Why? No. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, if Deidre said something, Dee, we couldn't hear you. Okay, so I need to adjust my settings. Got it. Oh, that was full crap. Beepy beepy! I need to adjust my settings again. I know. It's okay, D. Every time. Uh, Every time. I don't even change them as the thing. Do you not have them on auto? No, because, okay. I don't even change them because literally anytime I have them on auto, it doesn't work well. Oh, fair. You sound fine to me. Yeah. Yeah, you sound yeah, like fine it, it, now. It, it sounds like it fixed itself for some reason. What the hell? Yeah, so just repeat the thing you said in character. Oh, I don't remember. Something about <laughs> tests, but okay, moving on. Oh, right. I said there were simpler tests. To find out that There's... we can kill gods? Not really, Deidre. We've already yeah, done it no, the, 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 the one that knocked his skulls, Little Horn, makes a good point. How am I going to test you guys being able to kill a god by not making you kill a god? Make that make sense, because I'm not going to try that. I think you Uh, confused yourself, sir. Yeah. Did that? No. No. Hold on. I went went off in the distance. She just killed (laughs) robust. Immediately (laughs) in the distance, you guys just hear, Yes, you did. Uh, what you shush? Hmm. No. What are you even doing here? Don't you have a mission to go do? You give the missions. All right. Um. Uh, and like you see him start like essentially tapping his legs, like kind of like you can even hear him click his tongue a little bit, like. Fuck, I need to think of something. <laughs> yeah, Aurelia just briefly pinching the bridge of her nose and try fun. We'll hear. What Alexandra in the ball people? <laughs> Alexandra? Just for a moment, looks at her, just like, what? <laughs> yeah. Muttered that under her breath. <laughs> she says sad, and Aurelia goes, You heard me? I'm an elf. And? <laughs> well, that then, you know. I'm really good at hearing things. Okay. I think my, the maximum, look, he, and like points over to Derek, that motherfucker is mumbling right now and I can hear him clear as day. That must be a lot. I have special earbuds. Okay. (laughs) Good to know. Yeah, but you guys did good. Proud of you. Uh, Titus is on his way because uh, apparently he says he's got new stuff for you guys with some allocated missions for you guys to run for us. But um, other than that, one more test, if you will. Enough. You oh, ready? Enough. <clears throat> is it not your choice? Pardon oh, me Jackie. if I contain my excitement. Oh, Jackie and... Sater person, did you say your name to me? Trifon. Trifon. Sorry, I've been busy. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I don't know. So, are you guys... Wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. Five. There's six of you. Where's the sixth? 
Lord Lane has to talk to Noctis. Noctis? What? Like, from clearly a hug, what? Don't get sassy with me. Bring the little one over here. They're not... Okay. And then there's just an easy pickup and starting to very easily be picked, brought over. He hits like a truck. That doesn't mean he can't be picked up like a kitten. It's okay. <laughs> the best kind of character. Mm -hmm. He's just going to laugh because they're for the first, like for one of the rare times, they're not considered the little one in this instance because they're not talked about. Uh, Noctis, you might want to let go of him and take a step back. Why? Well, I'm going to trust wanna, him on this one. I want to chew the last. They, they more or less passed. Look, they passed four out of the five questions on the test. I got to give them the last question. And then. Uh, Aurelia, Orlane, you two don't need to roll this. Everybody else, go ahead and roll inside if you want to try and read Noctis's clearly turn, like churning face. You said insight. Yes, insight. Just inside flat this bitch. Oh, and that's twenty. Hey, you read that man's soul. <laughs> hey, you look, you peek over at him, and you just get the feeling of your soul is mine. <laughs> Oh, that's but, uh, never gonna happen again. <laughs> Trifon just passes. Jackie, dang, fucking clearly. Uh, Deidre, are you gonna hold out from this roll? Oh, no, I rolled. I don't know why it's not showing up. Did you... Or do, do you have... Deidre rolled a 12. Yeah, I rolled a 12. Deidre, you two focus on what the fuck this bullshit's about to be. <laughs> the rest of you... We'll start with the other two who didn't get the nat 20. Um... You guys get the feeling like, oh, God, this is not going to be something fun. What the fuck is he curling his face about? Dean, you stay close to Noctis for a bit of that fight. You're able to read. And you, Orlane and Aurelia, are able to read and get, oh, fuck, he's going to attack us. And the moment that thought crosses your mind, he's got the legendary bow out, drawed multiple arrows, and is ready to fire at you guys don't get hit and let's the loot let's lose the arrows oh, everybody shit. roll me one of three stats charisma strength or dexterity and just, a, just a roll or a save just a normal roll okay <laughs> Which one it would be to try to catch the arrow? Hey, the Jackie, same. <laughs> that is a strength because... Actually, no, that's a dex. My bad, my bad. That is a dex. What are the options? I'm going to take strength. Strength, charisma, charisma strength, dex. or dex. dex yeah. yes. Strength, dex, charisma. Those are your three options. Fuck you, I charisma. Jackie, uh... I'm going to take that, but I did say, I did fix myself. I said, no, to catch it would be Dex. Uh, yeah. I'm going to let, that, I'm let you have that, because you probably didn't hear me in time. I rolled it before you said that. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to net 20. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, those of you that rolled strength, if you got a 12 or higher, let's go. Okay. You... Move you like instinctively pull up a weapon and block the bolt. Those of you that roll decks, you catch the bolt as long as it is higher than a twelve. I don't Those think of you that rolled charisma. Rolled oh wait, huh? what? Deidre, I didn't think I was rolling because I rolled so low in the first thing. No, you. It's he's still basically announcing it. Go ahead and roll. Okay. Uh. Shit. What should I? I believe in you. You got this. I don't. Dex, definitely strength, got this. or charisma, whichever one you trust. <laughs> definitely not charisma. Um, just <laughs> <laughs> you rolled charisma by accident. <laughs> that would be priceless, but no. Um, I highly doubt that. Um, I'll probably just do strength because strength loves me. Watch this be a two. <laughs> yeah, I don't to say, say that. Words. Don't say that. Not even like an overall two. Like they roll a two on the dice. No, I have a plus three strength, so I would have. That's not even possible. 
A what? I have a plus three strength. I meant like on the dice itself, you roll a two. No, I mean I couldn't get a two if I tried. No, you, he just means Phoenix. that the die itself yeah, rolls or, a two, or, or, your modifier not included. You uh... roll the dice, the <laughs> dice says two. In any case, they rolled a 16. Uh, yeah, you, okay, those of you that roll strength, e. you, except Aurelia, uh, <laughs> actually Aurelia, go ahead and, I feel like because you caught on and there's no way Noctis would let his sister get hurt, go ahead and re roll that. You just need to beat a 12. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. No. I'm going to take that nine. Thanks. Uh, okay. So everybody, except Aurelia, uh, you guys block it. You block it with your weapons for strength. You catch it with dexterity. And those of you that use charisma, you kind of sense that it is magical. So you just kind of block it. You kind of just dispel the bolt itself. So, hey, I have okay. a question for you. Oh, Lord. What's <laughs> up, buddy? I'm a monk right now. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think everybody... Are you going to catch the arrow bolt? Do Please not throw, throw the arrow back. Do it. Please Do it. No balls. No, no. Hold on. Just, everybody, quiet. Or lane. Yeah. I'm not going to throw it at him. Shot. No. <laughs> um, you guys have no faith in me. I know you're not going to throw it at him. I fully thought you were going to go, like, okay, I'm going to catch Aurelia's bolt. No, oh, Aurelia can handle funny. herself. <laughs> really? You're gonna hit. No, no. You want to know what's going to happen? Go ahead. If I can. I'd like to step in the way of Aurelia's bolt. No! Oh, oh, there it no. is. If anyone's doing that, it'll be Deidre. On this meeting of D&D AA. Um, if anyone's doing that, it'll be Deidre. Can we not <laughs> just do far. the self-sacrificing thing right now? <laughs> so, well, here's if, the thing. If anybody's going to learn that Orlean has issues, it's gonna be our own. <sighs> So, you go to step, you catch your bolt, you go to step in front of Aurelia's bolt, and then a screaming skull flies in front of you, knocking the bolt out. And there's only one direction it could have come from, as Derek lowers his hand after he pierced the needle between Jackie and Dean just to hit that bolt. <laughs> And he just sort of stands up on the cover that he's held, that he was basically re relaxing on. Looks at Aurelia and Orlane, disappointed. Down. And starts to walk off. Can't win. But then again, I did that to myself. Immediately after you say, I did it to myself. Bonk. From Noctis. Do you just ignore everything we talked about? It was instinctive, mate. You need to work on your instincts. I don't like people dying for no reason. Look directly <laughs> at our rune with the face of motherfucker, try it. And he looks directly back at you with his eyes wide, holding one of the magic bolts, and then you just see him. Boop, into his head, and it's a light bolt. Yes, it can be touched, but it will never pierce through skin. Da 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 You were never in any real danger. So, from what I've gathered, points at Trifon. You're new, points at Dean. You're new, Deidre and Jackie. Meathead, quick hands, points at Aurelia. Bad luck, points at uh, Orlean. Bad ideals. Did I get anything wrong? Deidre's like, like a darker blue because they're mad. But they don't say anything. Generalization gets you damn near nowhere. 
but by all uh, means. Good enough. By all means, say I have bad ideals trying to not let people die. By all means. Okay. You have bad ideals by trying to let trying to sacrifice yourself so someone doesn't die because that's a one-shot thing you can do. Once you're dead, then they've got nobody protecting them in your own mind. So, you need better ideals. Instead of maybe, I don't know, standing in front of the bolt, move them out of the bolt. I don't think very well. Sorry, just had a breakdown. Apologies, my good bitch. You are forgiven, my good whore. <laughs> I think that actually catches him off guard to get a fucking laugh. Because he does, he does like a full regal bow. <laughs> Just say, you know what? I do, you know? You know. <laughs> Just a fucking abrupt There's... laugh. Oh, we got Ah, I broke him. Wonderful. <clears throat> This test was many things. First off, this thing had no fucking chess piece in it. The chess piece is solidified divinity. The one called Jack has been going around ripping these pieces out. Once they're ripped out and the towers are dealt with, we can come in and kill the gods. You handled the towers. This thing had no divinity. I could have done this myself. But I didn't. I trusted it to you, Glot. Same way Grinny trusted this to you all. Grinny was a good friend of mine. <laughs> yeah. Grinny was a very good friend of mine. He was the one that found me. He's the one that helped me start the rogue faction. She was a good woman. And she thought it was right to sacrifice herself to Jack so you lot could continue forward. So everybody you held dear could continue forward. She believed in the dream you lot could fulfill. A dream of freedom. I'm Alrune Le Fay, one of the seven heroes. The roguish ranger. I bear the legendary arms, the twin blades. They can attach themselves and become a bow. One of my abilities makes sure I can never miss. Keep that in mind. Right now, you have proved yourselves more or less to me that you can handle yourselves adequately against an enemy. You've shown that your class is not reserved to just one option. You've shown me you can work together as a team. When it comes down to it, what you're willing to do for your team. And he kind of looks at Orlane there. But you need to change. A lot of you need to change. You need to be stronger for this fight if you want a part of it. I will not force you into our battle. <laughs> Stop it. I will not... Motherfucker. I will not force you to fight this battle. This is our battle. If you want to leave, tell me right now. And on the same ship that Titus comes in on, you will leave to live at the rogue base, safe and sound. This is your only chance. I will not offer this again. If one of you, or if many of you, don't want to fight this enemy, these gods who are against us, who have betrayed the people of Granvaria, then you can take a step out. No one will hold it against you. We have jobs, we have lives, you can live in our base. Safe. Away from everything, away from Jack. Away from the commies, the towers. Every conflict you will end up running into, 
in this adventure. So I'll ask you once last time, and this will be the last time you hear this question. With utmost sincerity, if you want out of this fight, speak up now. I think Orlane just raises his hand in that measure of unrelated, but I have something to say kind of me measure. Noctis just reaches up and lowers your hand because he knows what you're doing, what you're asking. Just like, no, 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 let, let it Dry sit Finn knows this and just, no, let the man speak. <laughs> you want out of this, Orlane? No, of course not. I'm just saying that I have a bit of a promise to Jack to punch him in the mouth. You can do that regardless. Oh, no, not You don't have meant. to be a part of this adventure to punch him. <laughs> Just that little chuckle of, oh, honey. <laughs> We're not even yet. <laughs> it's, it's a particular... Just because um, you join me in the rogue. It, I have to describe this because I can't make the sound. It's a dark chuckle of probably one... I honestly think Alrune would recognize as not belonging to a monk. Says nothing. Let me clarify, as, as Elrune starts to speak up a bit. Just because I'm offering you a place outside of this current adventure, the one you and your group would go on, doesn't mean you can... Doesn't mean you'd have to. Let me clarify, let me re-say that. Doesn't mean you'd have to stay out of the fight. You'd just be doing a different fight. So if you want out, Orlane, I promise you'll get your chance to sock him in the face. Just doesn't have to be with this group. He visibly deflates. No, I'm all right. Just because you are special, and by that I mean you can switch classes, does not mean you are the only ones. Every time one of you leaves this group, it seems like you generate another person. Generated two this time. So understand when I say this, I mean this. We appreciate your help. But if you want out, just say. Like, you can see him desperately trying, more or less. Going, this is, I'm being real right now. You won't fucking out. This is the time. But after a little bit, just shrugs. It's just... he does, He's not going to leave. Just... Alrune will take a moment and then simply go, Okay. And I can guess I can take your silence as I'm not leaving. You just gonna like step forward and just be like, I have to protect these idiots. No. I'm pretty offense. sure you're too angry to just leave anyways. You're just gonna like take a deep breath because they've been trying to practice being less angry <laughs> at every little thing. <laughs> I just imagine they were like, with Terry just learning breathing exercises. <laughs> As you're taking those breathing exercises. <sighs> Hold on. Oop. 
be good. I swear to God, it's like all of you were on delay for me for a moment. Oh. That's weird. Huh. <laughs> Could have just been your internet having the hiccup. Yeah. Maybe. It's currently not going past a certain bit, so... Oh, that's why. Mm -hmm. Again. Oh. Little technical issue. I didn't turn on my D&D &D internet. Oh. Yeah, you, you had the that. wrong internet. Yep. You might want the D&D. Incredible. Ooh. Yeah, I've been riding on 300 and 500 uh, ping at the moment. Oh, it just jumped to 1266. Whoa. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and all of you were on lag, so give me just a hot minute. We're going to take a quick fiver. I know we just started and everything, but... Okay, snack time then. Not... Yeah, quick snack time. I so I can eat all this. my popcorn. <laughs> you sound so sad about that. <laughs> because it was good popcorn! Oh, I'm sorry. Or is it just like... Like, I'm genuinely sorry that you're out of popcorn this. Because, like, okay, so I'm the kind of person who loves the really buttery popcorn, yeah? Mm -hmm. I get extra butter when I get that shit from the movie theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But most microwave pop popcorn, it has the, the fake butter type stuff, and that's just, it's not buttery. Movie theater butter isn't actual butter. In most ah, aware of that. My my point being is is that what you get the movie theater is very different from what you get with uh with microwave popcorn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I found I found that AMC actually does have pop branded popcorn, and one of them has pour over butter for it. Comes with these little packets of but uh, of butter that you can that you can just pour over your popcorn. Oh. And I finally get the movie theater popcorn. Nice, nice. All I heard was movie theater popcorn. <laughs> Time where I actually would melt my own butter to pour over my popcorn. Just oh, without... oh, yeah. But that was all. That was also when I was doing uh air, when I had the ability to have air popped popcorn. Air mm -hmm. pop testing, testing. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh Jesus, you're so loud. I can hear you. Well, now I just went from 500 ping to 41. So. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I reserve oh, this internet for D and D time. So, oh, I almost died. Don't do that. Well, don't die. It's bad for your health. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, generally, yeah. Generally. I mean, we can ask the resident zombie. Who's the zombie? I don't know. That that doesn't really narrow it down much. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm back with better internet. Let's continue. Mm. Y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Um, where we left off. Arun looks at you lot and goes, once Titus gets here, he's going to give you some quests, things to do. Keep your hands busy. You can take it, or you can head to your next destination. From this point on, we will simply be giving you three coordinates at a time. Currently, your next coordinates are to the direct north, to the direct south, and normally we'd give you a fourth and, you know, a third and fourth one. But considering beside us, currently on the overall map, and he lifts up his uh, materia guard, and it kind of illuminates a giant world map, 
is one of the prime bases, the prime base for the enemy, we're not going to send you there. You can go back to where you were before. And there are some rumors about a sea-based set of a sea-based set of these bases with towers built in as the ships. We can make sure you guys handle those if you be down, but that'll be a longer trip. So for now, get some rest. Make your decision. I've got to go be in charge of people. And he turns around and you watch him turn invisible. Loki energy. What, what if I try to perceive him anyways? <laughs> I'm screwed. Go ahead. Need party trick. <laughs> Can I also I'm going to do yeah. it. I what? attempt to perceive. Nope. Okay. Fourteen. Everybody who try who wants to try and perceive him, go ahead. Perception. Uh, yeah, sure. Just base perception. Also, uh, okay. Deidre, make sure that your uh thing is connect. Your Beyond Twenty extension is connected yeah. and turned on. Could you repeat uh the locations generally, the directions? North, North uh, south. So. And then, uh, which way is east? Left or right? Just that say would be east. right. No, literally. I don't know. No, I'm trying to remember because one of those is the bad location. It's to the right. It's oh, it to the right. Okay, then yeah. It's north, south, and east is available. Because far east, there are rumors about uh, ship-based towers that have been placed in the water. But directly south is deserted lands if you look here in discord you can see the over actually i'll just move you guys to the overarching map how about that mm. All right. hey. world map I got a 15. so mm. you have directly north in this close to this wooded area almost mm. directly south which would be around here and then you have east which is about this area they said east is a bad area. No, this um, prime based west. Uh, west is bad area east, because that's we, bad area. that's a big boy area. What does big boy area mean? Big boy area means you guys are level seven. Mm -hmm. Level fifteen enemies are west. Ooh, double us. Got it. Got it. Ooh. We just do the breath of the wild stride. Get this. Get the stick. No. <laughs> Ian really already made that joke earlier. <laughs> we are yeah. not linked with a with a twig sprinting towards Hyrule Castle. Stop that. Twink with a twig. Not with that. <laughs> Twink with a twig. You with God. a twig. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm screaming. Terrible. Anyways. Hmm? Hmm? I'm look, asking hmm? you guys. This is your time. I'm For fine. what? Where, where do you guys want to go? Where next? do we want to go? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I thought we were going back to camp to see Titus and then making that decision. Well, yeah. it's better to make that decision now so you guys can make it a little bit more seamlessly as the characters. Let you so, decide uh, as players. I know there's one location down here. Uh, yes, that you would need to go about right in this area to head that area because there is a mass of water you need to cross. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of see that, yeah. That is a later area for you guys to tread to. Got it. And then the other areas. I'll I'll mark them. Hold on. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You have the ability to draw on the map. Yeah. So we have one base. We'll call it the red one. Over here. And we have another base. We'll call it the blue one. Right here. We have the last base. Over here. These are the sets of bases. Okay. So, I kind of want to go here. I vote okay. north. I will say I have something I've fixed myself on 
North is the last of the auto grab positions because I did it's three people. You guys can auto grab some classes for three individuals. So if you go there, the world around you will continue. Okay. But if you go like somewhere else, the North area mission will kind of be on pause. I say let's go north. That's... Yeah. Or, or else... north. Yeah. Okay. I might also be a little bit biased because I like red. <laughs> I How you hold on, hold on, hold on. But anyway. Hold on one, one second, one second. How you feeling now, bud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're so funny, Karaka. Yeah. God what? damn right I am. <laughs> Wait, what? I am kind of leaning towards the right now though. <laughs> We're going. I'd still vote north. I still vote yeah, north. Yeah, let, let's go, let's go north. It is a majority vote. Go ahead and vote in the world map channel, just so uh, for future okay. reference. Hmm. <laughs> let me let me set up. Hold on. Let me do this. Actually, respond with wa for north and wa with. Respond with. Uh no. Um. That, <laughs> shut, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. Wow. <laughs> you respond with North. <laughs> Did you delete my thing? Yes, because this is not supposed to be something you guys text in. <laughs> then why did you say respond in here? Because I was going to set up emojis, you... Oh, I genuinely did not know. I was getting to there, but you guys are fucking speedrunners. Damn right. That? So just Dang. do an up arrow, a right arrow, and a down arrow. <laughs> yes, that's what I was gonna do. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> editing the message to set it up. <laughs> and then you guys all started spamming it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Are you good? Uh, I'm fine. That hurt, but anyway. Oh. My stomach. Glad you guys fucking enjoyed that. Uh. <laughs> Have an actual tear. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I, I'm hoarse now. Oh. Echo. I'll get to it. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Baby. Baby. The gift Baby. is so cute. Wah. 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 <laughs> okay, I can still breathe. Oh. Let go. <laughs> Fucking hate all of you. <laughs> no. no, you don't. You love us. <laughs> I've been on a Rise of the Guardians kick, and I hate you. For oh, let's go! I, I, jeez, I could, I can, I can go on and on okay. about Rise of the Guardians. I just really like North. Same. Honestly, I like all of them. My, I, I had, an, I had an obsession with all of them except Jack. Jack's Is this a baby. Going to He's, a He's just a little guy. <laughs> I mean, even me back then knew I didn't want to think. So I'm just going to do this. <laughs> I just know North makes all, all the comfy happy, but serotonin, brain, happy brain juice. Yes. Uh, everyone? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Lower scene. So, as you all leave, sword stump. The sword itself, laying flat on the ground, there is a moment where there is humming. Silent, but prominent humming. As the giant's body is sliced at the root where it used to be. 
withering away as a pale flame engulfs it. Do 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 do. Soft footsteps moving towards the sword, lifting it up, and then gently returning it back to the place in the center of the stump. Ah, there we go. As Jack pats the pats the blade. There Perfect. He is. There he is. Now. What was I supposed to do here again? I know it's something important. Right. Right, 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 right. And he moves over to about this area. Reaches down and hops, reaches down, places his hand on the piece of the stump, hops it down as a magic lock begins to unfurl and unlock itself, opening a small pocket dimension. Here? I should be. Come on. Aha! Pulls out a flute. Sitting on the edge of the stump. <laughs> Wonder if I still got it. Puts it up to his mouth. Begins to play. There's a soft, deafening silence, only followed by a surprisingly good, like one of those like shockingly good, the quiet kid can play the piano kind of good tunes that begins to escape the area. Until it stops. It's rude, you know, to peek. When someone's doing something nice, I'll ruin the fay. So ruin returns to being visible. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Jack the Ripper. And begins to play again. You're a god. Or at least you say you are. But I've never seen a god like you in my time. Well, I don't think you would. After all. Stands up and turns around to face Alrun. You haven't even figured out the rest of the puzzle yet. Ain't that right, Rooney? Alrun's face drops. You, but no, you're, you're human. How are you? No, I'm not. Come on, Rune. Use that head of yours. Come on. Come on. As he begins to taunt Al Rune like he's calling a dog. Come here. Clicking his tongue and everything. Come on, boy. Get to the exit. Get to the goal. And Alrun's face contorts into horror. No. No, 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 no! But you... How are you alive? Jason killed you! Wrong! Well, yes, but... Kind of. Jason... Killed my father. And then Jason kind of got real sad and, you know, the story. His own personal Greek tragedy. And the best part about this old thing is, Alrun, as Jack steps closer to him, his eyes losing all color. Turning, returning to the golden sheen they once were, and his hair returning to the stark platinum white it once was. Your friend's dead, Rooney Pooh. It's my body now. (laughs) 
as Jack begins to sink in front of our room. <laughs> and the best part of this, Salroon. Oh, the best part's yet to come. Because you know the truth now. Bye-bye, Rooney. Now Rune sits there, staring at the ground where Jack left from. A lie. Don't worry, Jason. I'm not giving up on you. As our rune turns and begins to walk away, leaving only the flute on the stump. As we return to Tarek's base. Wee. So, just to be completely uh, clear, mm -hmm. we didn't witness any of that, right? I'll say I'll go more on to that later. Gotcha. Okay. Notes. Moment. Because technically, one of you did. Uh Gonna guess it's the one with the nat twenty. Uh, no. Huh. Yes and no. Uh, Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I'll go ahead and be blunt. Yeah, Jackie saw all that because Jackie is connected to Alrun. Hmm. The same way that Aurelia. And Deidre and everybody else is connected to somebody. Jackie is connected to Elrune. So she caught glimpses of that. The rest of that was more for you, the players, to enjoy. The ghosts okay. that aren't ghosts. Delectable lore bits. I, I, trust me, I ran this by some people. <laughs> that was not as much of a surprise as you guys would expect. There is still so much more to come. I only really did that because we're going to not see Jack for like a couple months. I really need the hug. No, he's good. Speaking of hugs, you guys make it back and immediately a little the owlbear cub starts running towards one of you. Oh, the baby. Just Aurelia. Baby. You're still muted. <laughs> really is picking up the baby and holding it for a baby now. Yeah. Just immediately just like, oh hi. Uh my baby's back. Kind of vibe. My baby. Uh, with all that. Um you guys can take a break. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I don't know. Trifon goes to train for a bit. Okay, you guys get back and Trifon goes to train. What time of year is it? Like, would you say it's around harvesting? It's a training area. Season? No. no. It is not around harvesting air time. Uh, everywhere is a training area, area on Tarek's base. Then he fucking goes over here. Everywhere's a training area if you try hard enough. Mm -hmm. Or if you just ignore societal expectations. Or if you ignore signs. <laughs> that sign you can't ignore a lot of things. Oh my god. I have a question. You know, what's up? Can the players read and write? Yes. I was okay. writing on my arms earlier. No, I just meant like as like a whole. Could we all could we all have like literary skills? Yes. 
just wanted to make sure. Because I was about to make, I was about to make a. This time can't stop me because I can't read joke. Ah. Uh. Well, you can still make that joke. <laughs> That's or lane every single time someone's just like, "Can you please not be self-sacrificial for half a second? Yeah. Speaking of, Orlane's going to try and turn and... Like, one of those things of, I'm going to take a walk. I don't know if things are going to go bad. I just... Bad. It's bad vibes. Fair. Also, Orlane does not want to deal with trying to talk to anybody right now. That's fair. Each is going to follow Aurelia and Cece because flight training was interrupted. Yeah. Fight the baby? Flight. Oh, flight training. I thought you said <laughs> light. No. What does that even mean? Uh. What else no. do you guys want to do? Uh, real quick, Arlene, what are you doing again? Trying fucking to off. take a not fucking off. Because if he wanted to do that, I would roll stealth, and you guys would never hear from me again. Um. <laughs> but no, Orlane is very obviously just standing there for a moment before turning and like walking off, like probably back towards towards stuff. He doesn't. He doesn't want to be perceived, honestly. <laughs> After having that mental breakdown and then having someone call him out so succinctly, much less a legendary hero, he's not having a great time. But it's not mm -hmm. the worst time he's had. No, nah, because just going to pat pat. You know that gift uh, of the cat who gets, like, the black cat, the void cat, who gets pat on the head and then just leans into it? Mm-hmm. That. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is Titus here? Not yet. He's on his way. On his you guys, way. Okay. Uh, do you want to you want to wait for him specifically? I was just curious if he was here yet because if he was here, I was gonna go straight towards him to get a notebook or something. <laughs> uh, Based on your arms, they'll wash off eventually. It doesn't wash off. Um, <laughs> it did, bud. <laughs> uh I guess I'm also looking for like little tidbits I can just kind of like Are there any bits of metal anywhere? Like are there any scraps or anything? I'm tempted to uh, Are you looking Where are you looking at, bud? I don't know. Like I'm just looking for not much on this map for reasons, but yeah, very much just a resting map, so to speak. So there's no armory or anything. There is no, there is an armory, but it's just like not. Um, I don't have that like map wise. That's um, cool. it's it's a general like bazaar type area. Like it's where they. It's a food place. It's a meeting place. It's a shopping place. Whatever you need, it's it's right there. That's not okay. that. Bizarre. No, it's it's called no, it's called a bazaar. Oh, yeah. Ignore me then. <laughs> I forget I said that. Okay, Han. It, it's okay. I had to look up that word too. <laughs> Nini said it to me, and I was just like, "Huh?" I guess then. So Noctis is just like right there, isn't he? Oh yeah, no, he's he's fully on my best friend is acting funky. I'm gonna stay right here. Okay, so he's busy doing that, got it. Yep. Cause I was gonna ask him if you want if he could help me train, but I don't think that would help. I guess I should just go work out. Start getting stretching after the battle too. <laughs> Dane is old. So, I guess Dane will just, like, go off and exist where he was working out last time. Okay. 
work out, stretch, do as usual. Just contemplate what the fuck is happening. Jackie, what are you doing? I guess I'll go train with Tyson. Gotta make sure. Got to make sure one of the newer people knows what they're getting into, at least. Wait, have they been hoppered yet? Yes. Ah, oh. damn it. So that was part of the session you were mostly sitting out on. Damn. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, who wants to have, who wants to go first? Have your little interactions. Everybody's got somebody they can talk to. Save Dane. I'm going to save Titus for him. What is on everybody's to-do list in mind? If no one else wants to go first, we can always start with Erlane. Oh, it is an option. If you want, to. I love how that was almost threatening, and I'm just like, oh no, <laughs> that's it. That's it supposed to be threatening. It was just a vocal response. That was the grimace emoji as a response. <laughs> I guess Dane also has a little thing he could do, but no. Oh. He's been hesitant to do it, but he could see what his other tool is, I'll call it. Your hammer. Mm hmm. He's been hesitant to summon it. Did you not equip the hammer? I have not equipped the hammer, no. I've never summoned it yet. Oh, I've okay. only summoned the rifle. I've had the feeling that the other one's been there. Just okay. hasn't so... brought it out yet. Uh, go ahead, and if you want to, go ahead and summon your weapon, your other weapon. I'll say this is a downtime. It, are you, if unless you're actively going to change to that class, you do not have to uh, equip it. Yeah, I I wasn't going to actively change the class yet. I was I was more or less just going to see what I could figure out from it and see what like what avenues open up with me just having it. Because it's also been a while since I played Artificer. Fair, man. So, uh, you go ahead and summon it, and it just more or less looks like a building hammer, honestly. But you just feel like it's not just a building hammer. You're not sure how to put it, but you know that there's clearly more to it than that. You just don't know how to express it, let's say. There is clearly more to this weapon than just looking fancy and building things. Mm -hmm. uh, what, how would you like to try it? See, that's the thing I was thinking about that wasn't sure. I was like... Because I could take, like, I don't know. Uh, that's why I was also looking around for, like, scraps or something. Something I could theoretically just make something little with but i guess the most i could do is like is there a boulder nearby that i can just smash because why not uh i i feel like as you're kind of doing that you just hear is that uh is that a hammer in Go ahead and make a... Per What's your passive perception for me real quick? I think it's like 11 or something. 13. Yeah. It's not until like you hear his voice that you realize there's somebody standing behind you. Oh, uh, What you doing there, bud? Um, well... I haven't really... used one of these in a long time. I've mainly been uh -huh. using... Another weapon. You haven't uh, used a hammer before? 
in a long time. I don't Bear. Really know. Bear. Who are you? Somebody with materials if you want them. Ideally, that would be perfect. I'm okay. Dang. It was a pleasure to meet you. Titus, can you go get the others for me and I'll give you those material? Sounds like a joy. I guess I'll first go over to where Trifon and Jackie are. Do I see them training and I, I just try not to interrupt them? We'll say you stop about right here and then we'll cut to Trifon and Jackie training. Go ahead. We'll say clock rewinds a little bit. Uh, go ahead, Jackie and Trifon. How's that tri How's that training going? Well, to be fair, I was away from the computer when Jackie decided to go train with Trifon. So, as far as Trifon's concerned, he went off the train by himself, and he didn't know he's not paying attention or something. Jackie probably yeah. entered midway. Just you know, your farm could use some work. It's just. A little bit more warning next time, but, um, thanks, I guess that's no. the point of the training. I'm not sure just how much more warning I can give. In case you haven't noticed, I'm rather... Quiet? Easy to spot. I mean, fair. Because I'm assuming she's talking about the just not exactly being a small person. Yeah. She's like, well, um, I guess do you want to train with me then? I could use some brushing up on my own skills, sure. How is the how does the training go? Both of you give me a performance check. Performance. Oh, goody. Uh, twenty three on my end. Ooh, good stuff. I would have to get in that. That. Oh. Uh, I don't think it'd be besting each other. It just determines. You know. Yeah. Two pretty decent ro rolls. I thought for sure that my rolls. Say... Like... Oh. I'll, I'll ask you both. What is your what is your goal in the spar? Are you trying to like stalemate, or are you trying to simply like best the other person? Or may I offer op offer a third option? Go for it. Yeah. If they're trying to learn about each other, two high roles mean that they can figure out how well they work together as a team. Yes. That works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what we'll go with then. I like that option. Yeah. And that's what happens. Go ahead and explain how you two. Go ahead and uh, give the other what you think is the best trait during your fighting that you can give to the other. Um, hit, uh, had Strife in like, what, two fights? I don't know well. So far, you have shown yourself to be a bit wild, chasing true. a god and then fucking RKOing him from the top rope of a root. That is true, yeah! And Jackie's very sneaky. Yeah. So, Trifon's best trait would be just this level of unpredictability with his attack. Unpredictability partnered with large, but uh, but easily hidden. You can Another distract one. and backstab. Yeah. Distract and fucking body someone. From the top rope? 
Uh, okay. So you guys learned that, and I will say you both get a bond point. Ooh. Go ahead and mark that down. Where the fuck did we mark that down? Just put First it in your up. notes. <laughs> Okay, and we'll, before continuing a bit further, we'll switch over to Deidre and Aurelia for your flight training. <laughs> Deidre's going to have to wait up a few minutes for Aurelia to stop just holding the baby. Deidre, that'll take enough time for Deidre to eat like a bunch of fruit. And then <laughs> just, I'm just imagining Deidre's like sitting like on something higher than them, which isn't hard. And just eating fruit, maybe talking to Buddy <laughs> while this happens. Buddy talks and beeps and shrills. I want you to remember this. So Oh, Deidre's well actively, aware. They just they just they just think Buddy's cute. Actively while you are in the middle of cuddling CC and like just holding CC or really like I feel like you're just sitting there like, oh what's happened? Kind of vibe. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Aurelia's then, had a fucking day and she's not happy. Must hold you've baby. You've had that day. You've had that day, and then all of a sudden you just hear beep, 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 beep. followed by the very soft responses from Deidre. I just imagine it's a mix of like the beeps and like noises, and then also like fucking charades, basically. Puzzles meant for five-year-olds. We can't solve them. <laughs> it's a D and D character's worst nightmare. A puzzle meant for anybody rated five and above. <laughs> yeah, but I just imagine. Oh, fuck! Just I wasn't on mute, was I? <laughs> no, no we're not. not my life. No, just... <laughs> which makes it so much better that you yeah. thought you were on mute and you weren't. <laughs> So much to clip that, honestly. Oh my god, I love you so much, sweetie. That's such a good quote. <laughs> I Someone hate it here. <laughs> no, we love it. It was great. <laughs> uh, anyway, <Mwah>. <laughs> really, I has the energy towards Deidre. Of, I mean. I talked to the owl bear before I could understand it, so I have no legs to stand on here. Yeah. I just imagine, like, DJ was just like, just let me know when you're ready. Um, as they're, like, in between, like, gobbling down fruit. <laughs> Aurelia just looks over and goes, t truck do you think you eat more than your body weight in fruit per day? You're just like, I don't think I know I eat more than my body weight in fruit per day. <laughs> you know I what? don't weigh that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair. Fair. You're like a couple of grapes. I'm not that. I'm not that. And then Deidre's like trying to like do math. <laughs> Oh, yes. They are thirty. Th they are thirty-five pounds. <laughs> like a couple of grapes. <laughs> no, literally. No, a dog like food a, bag. They're like a watermelon or two, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're just like a few melons. Confirmed. Deidre weighs about as much as what they feed Cece. <laughs> no, literally. That's why Cece wants to eat Deidre. Oh my god. They're food sized. <laughs> yep. You're yep. you're five uh, bags of pears. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> no, literally they eat like twice that probably I'm betting. Oh. <laughs> uh, Cause all they eat is fruit. I say that with the utter recollection of watching my mother try to sort out uh, 
two pounds of uh, of pears and accidentally getting five pounds every time. Oh no! Wait, how? Yeah, I don't question this. Okay. Um, but yeah, Deidre's just gonna be like, just Deidre's just gonna like hop down for wherever they were. Um, and like guess like, cause how tall is CC? <laughs> Uh, She's the baby. size of a couple month, couple uh, like almost a year now, month old Albert cub. So as big as like a toddler, what? <laughs> Wide toddler. What? Oh my god. What? <laughs> an adult owl bear, guys. An adult owl bear is about seven to nine feet tall. A baby yeah. owl bear is around three to two to three feet. So they're they're about the same height. If oh, yeah. if yeah. So Deidre's gonna be like Deidre's gonna like like um look at CC and like you know basically be at I guess like their eye level um and then like be like you ready to learn how to fly kid and then just like levit and then just like float up a bit. Uh, you do. CC looks up at them and then just goes. And Aurelia's the only one that can hear it. Food can fly. (laughs) (laughs) Can I try to... Aurelia very softly to CC go. That's Deidre, not food. Please do not try to eat Deidre. Who is Deidre? Deidre's gonna laugh at this. (laughs) But stay the in, but stay in, in the air. Right now, but stay in the air. Food. Asia, hold on. Aurelia, <laughs> go. Yeah. The, the blue one flying in front of you right now is Deidre, not food. No, the one in front of us is food. They're small. No. They can be nibbled no. on. No. The fairy <laughs> is friend, not food. Friend, not food. But sometimes food is friend. Ah. <laughs> no! You do not eat friend. So if food is friend, then friend is friend. But sometimes food is friend. So not eat. I'm like, you sure can if fully, that works. <laughs> you fully realize that was toddler math. You got there, but that was clearly toddler math. <laughs> He's doing his best. Baby's trying. <laughs> Um, I wanted to, pats on the know, head. I want it to be known, Deidre's still floating, but is just like laugh. Like you know when you like fall over laughing, that's <laughs> them. So they're like they're like horizontal now, just like laughing, but they're still flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> one kindly, one sincerely, and then one to curse with. That is exactly how Noir did that. Uh, uh but continuing forward. Yes. Um you t- uh CC starts to attempt to fly. Toddler. Okay. He's six. Oh. Not um, CC. CC's a toddler. Well, Toddler be upon ye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you just gonna like look around and see. They're gonna be like, they're gonna look at Arela and be like, so I'm guessing you don't want us to jump off of high thing. Nothing too high. Not while he's still so small. You just gonna look at him, me? like look him up and down, and be like, this is. Aurelia. What? Aurelia, give me a perception check. Deidre, give me survival. Oh, God. Like, just flat? Yep, just flat. Okay. Hey, I got a 24. Thank fuck. Okay. So... You both catch it as 
CC is giving that little animal butt wiggle before they jump at something that has caught their full, like, little brain attention. Mm -hmm. And then leaps towards Deidre to try and catch them. Oh, Wait, what are they doing? <laughs> they are reaching Trying to catch you. Deidre. Aww. They're like, okay, how are they trying to catch them? They don't have arms. They have a mouth. Ah. Uh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> can Deidre just, like, 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 just step out the way? Like, like, sidestep, or, like, side, like, fly out the way? Like, still talking to Aurelia, like, this was nothing. Okay, say again? Can Deidre just, like, side fly out the way when Cece's trying to grab them in their mouth? You absolutely can. And just continuing to make eye contact with Aurelia and just continuing to talk about, like, not going too high to jump off of things. Okay. okay. Um, Deidre's gonna be like, okay, I have an idea. Um, you just gonna be like, what does CC eat? Everything. Okay. <laughs> CC is an omnivore. Okay. Yeah, Aurelia will amend that he has preferences like any living creature, but he'll eat just about anything. What are his preferences? Well, he prefers fresh fruit. <laughs> Why? Food? <laughs> okay. So, he's just gonna okay. He's just gonna be like, he's just gonna call the buddy and be like, okay, come here, and then like get um like some fruit from buddy yeah. and be like, okay, Cece, you see this? You can have this if you stop trying to eat me. <laughs> Big old will... eye with a head full of nothing. <laughs> Aurelia would have told big old eyes. Aurelia yes. <laughs> would have told Tetra that Cece does seem to prefer fresh food over, you know, prepared and salted foods that last a longer time. Mm -hmm. It tastes better to chew them. Deidre's gonna like. Deidre's gonna like toss the like toss like the piece of fruit up like PC. And see if they catch it. Okay, so you're so you're tossing the food up, yeah? Mm-hmm. They look at it. They wait for it to fall. CC is currently waiting for it to hit the ground before they run, because they were properly trained not to jump up at food. Oh, that's so cute. Even though they did try to jump up at Deidre. No, literally. So Deidre's it's like waiting. trying. Hmm? It's waiting. It's waiting. And the moment it gets close, it's going like, to move to where it's going to land. Oh. Deidre doesn't try to like stop it from falling. Deidre is actually like giving it to the baby. It hits the ground, walks over, begins to eat it. Okay. So Deidre's like, okay, how should we go about this? Deidre's just going to be like, okay, Aurelia, do you trust me? Yes. Okay, Deidre's going to look for something that's, what's high, in the, what's high off the ground, but not too high around on the base? Um that Deidre can take Cece up there, and then they can try, like, jumping off from that. The rocks from the collapsed tower are the DM's suggestion. Okay. You know, it's the only thing that could actually hold Cece's weight in this fucking place. That's fair. Okay, so you're just gonna be like, okay, let's go over to the rocks. 
just the struggle. The struggle. It's real. Waddles over there. Aww. Waddles like a little baby. He's a baby. It actually waddles like if you put a pair of boots on like a puppy version of a Doberman. Oh, this is so cute. So. Okay, so Deidre's gonna be like, okay, so Cece, look. Don't do this, but look. And then, like, take a few steps back on, like, the rocks. Um, and then run, 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 run. And then, like, like while they're running, like, flutter their wings. Like, you know, start, like, the moving process of their wings themselves. And then, like, jump off. Watches you. Looks at the end. What the fuck, buckets? Perfect timing. Yeah, what's up? You just got back? No, no, I w- I've been here the entire time. I think you said what the fuck, buckets, and at the si- at the time where you're trying to explain something. Yeah. So literally, as I was moving CC's token, it said he was right here. It was weird. But, um, yeah, no. It watches you. CC watches you. Starts running, and then stops to start flapping. But then goes, starts running again until it starts to fall off the edge. <laughs> oh. Okay, Deidre's gonna be like, wait, I have an idea. Um, Deidre's going to ask Aurelia to help um them find, like, something, because this baby likes fresher food. And basically, like, I have an idea. If I can get something that CC will want to eat and then start floating, and then it has to follow me to get it. And then ask Rayla, what would, what would CC like to eat? Rayla? What would CC like to eat? I think that they treat as apples. Okay. So. Giant apple? Regular apples, you whore. I was about to be like, how the fuck? Okay. That'd be a strength, <laughs> that'd be a strength save for me. <laughs> Trying to carry those gigantic apples with my thir- with my 35 pound ass. Um, So, the, so you're just going to ha- have an apple and be like, Come up to CC and be like, you want an apple? Dare. Yes. They're going to, like, float up so that they're, like, above CC, but still in front of them, and slowly start moving backwards as they're flying above CC, just just high enough that they would have to come up. Um, And Deidre's going to be like, try flapping your wings again. If you can get up here, you can get the apple. Flap. 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 <laughs> flap. 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 <laughs> like, you can hear them. Aurelia, you can hear CC saying flap while wiggling their arms in a non-flapping motion. That's so cute. He's trying so hard. Um, Deidre's gonna, like... Does Deidre notice that they're not moving their wings the right way? Absolutely. He's just gonna like oh, tell Aurelia basically this, like basically show Aurelia he needs to flap his wings like this and then be like let him know that because I don't think he sees me and understands what I'm saying. <laughs> he sees food that moves. <laughs> I love that Aurelia is a translator at this point. Sure. <laughs> that um. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty like... sure that the baby understands when we're speaking to him. She's yeah, just absolutely. also a toddler. <laughs> that's that's yeah. 
I, I've been they, waiting for you to, re- for Deidre to realize this the entire time. Do they understand what, yes. like, a- different ages are, though? No. <laughs> exactly! They what, I understand what you're saying. No, I mean, like, okay, I mean, like, lore-wise. Like, do, the, would Deidre Deidre's under- talking about the Deidre, not yes, the baby. Would, <laughs> would I understand that different ages have different cognitive, like, understandings basically give me a wisdom check <laughs> that's not gonna be good but okay because we we know that children are a thing that exists now yes what do i understand that <laughs> oh that was bad i got a six that's on brand though that's why so is this bad. thing not getting it <sighs> no uh can't figure out why it's there's such the difficulty, honestly. Let me see what happens if I roll now. Will it show up now? I'm literally just trying shit to see if it'll show up. Nope, okay. I'll have to figure that out later. But yeah, I got a six for my wisdom. <laughs> so I think I know the answer to that. <laughs> okay. Give me a little bit. <laughs> okay. Did you take yourself out, sir? I didn't take myself out of nothing. You guys are going full crackhead on me. <laughs> what? Us going full crackhead? Never. Gosh. We're having a little silly moment. Let us live. <laughs> I'm wondering what's inevitably going to be following it. No, literally. <laughs> So, you guys are fully able to essentially, more or less, get your hands on everything. Like, you're not a, it takes a moment. I feel like there's no way that Aurelia would just let Deidre go, I don't understand this, and just let it sit when the baby is involved. I'm just imagining Aurelia has like paper and is like trying to like draw diagrams to help explain this shit. To Deidre. <laughs> like small, like small person <laughs> equals like small person than like an arrow, like less than big person. Aurelia's <laughs> voice, a- I need more crayons. No, literally. I'm just imagining like Deidre Army. and like DC bonding while sitting together watching Aurelia draw pictures. <laughs> okay. Army versus Marines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's slowly becoming one of those TikTok videos. <laughs> hmm. I'm also imagining just Deidre sharing apples with CC this entire time. Oh, yeah, he's slowly getting, like, a full-on, like, full belly from these things. Yeah. These are just, like, gets half an apple. CC gets half an apple while they're watching the, like, the little drawings. <laughs> Both equally confused. <laughs> okay. So... You guys, I'll say, we won't go super in-depth into this, but you guys at least get him, at least get CC to glide. Yay! And with that, you two gain a bond point. Yay! I will be nice about this. And I'll ask you politely, do you want to save this for another time, Orlane, or do you are you gonna be good doing this? What do you mean? I'm the one who's because been making fun of you motherfuckers the past fucking two hours. What do you mean? Okay. Yeah. You and Noctis are have not moved for a bit. 
until eventually Noctis speaks up. You're gonna stay here all day? Where's there to go? I clearly fucked up. How'd you fuck up? Apparently twice in a row now I've fucked up around my partner's husband. Partner's so nope. What you no. clearly you clearly see like Orlane having that moment of he's buffering to a point where everything is screwed up. Okay, I'm gonna let you in on the biggest, you know, super obvious thing that apparently you're not getting. You ready for this? Mm. Derek's an asshole. It's not... He's just an asshole. He was like that when Grinny was still around. Nothing is gonna change it. I caught on. I just... I want to make a good impression, and I seem to have fucked that up twice now. You... Shocking! Okay. I have an First I have one. an appearance issue. First one, you were unconscious. Second one, you did something that you did. You learn from that moment. I guess. Then you did good. You did nothing wrong. You did good. Take it. Take the good. No. I'm going to bonk you. Good. I just... You know I am so tired. I really am. And I don't... I'm going to take a guess. You don't mean tired as in a nap will fix it. I wish. Talk to me. Everything feels like it's falling apart. It really does. I've been here for what? A couple months? Maybe yeah. three? About three to four. Everything feels like it's falling apart. I, I just want to go home. You and I don't know home. where that is anymore. Who do you feel safe with? Never see a man just buffer. And it's not in a bad way. It's just there's a there's too many answers to that question kind of buffering. Yeah, I know. Who makes you feel safe? Real simple answer. Real simple options. Jackie. It is Jackie not here right now? Looks kind of in the direction of Jackie with that like pitiful look of from a distance. You just see your best friend having the talk they don't want to. And I feel like Jackie is just like, no, <laughs> I'm ignoring you now. Bye. <laughs> mm, well, would you look at that? You looked towards them. So they're here. They're an option. Looks and back at your... him and goes, well, I also feel safe around you. Mm-hmm. Am I not here? Occasionally, you have your own shit to deal with. Got a job, man. Yes. So do I, apparently. Also, yeah. our rune's fucking weird. Oh, you mean, yeah, like when he was talking, like, somebody who more or less could be called a dude bro and then switched immediately to a commander? A little unnerving, just, I... Yeah, he's got... I'm gonna let you know on this. That commander talk, that's him. That's Al Ruin. When okay. I heard, he used to be like that all the time. Okay. I'm going to lay on the ground now. Thank you. And just proceeds to try and lay on the ground. Immediately picked up. 
I'm going to put you in a proper bed. Oh, shit. Titus is here. Like, midway through starting to carry you over. Immediately just locks on to Titus. The sad noodle of a man. On that point, Dane, you can now interact with the others and officially go and grab everybody. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> so, first one to go down to is uh, Trifon. Make sure I'm getting this right because I don't have all the character names. Jackie. And are they still training or are they just like existing? I think they're. I feel like at this point in time, they would be clearing up and like cleaning up their training. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds right. Like they've got like a combo move, but they're like ironing it out so it, so it doesn't get fucked whenever they try to use it. <laughs> so essentially, Dane is the combo breaker. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic, but terrible. Yeah, it's great. I love it. Hey, y'all. So it seems... What are you guys working on? Uh, nothing big. Just a little bit of training, that's all. If you'd like, you can join us next time. I might. I prefer my training alone, though. Um, but Titus has arrived, and uh, he offered me some incentive to go and gather everyone. So, if you don't mind just going over there and meeting them, I'll grab everyone else real quick. All right, sounds good. But I will keep your invitation in mind. Wouldn't be a terrible idea, especially if we're going to be fighting together. I will see about it. Thank you. I guess I'll walk over to Noctis and Erlane. Do I just see Ur Erlane being, like... More or less bridal carried, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Erlane is him. very sad, very tired. Please leave a message at the tone. <laughs> Noctis just kind of looks at you, Dan, and goes, I see him, I'll make my way over there. I was about to say, yeah. Thank yeah. you. No problem. And then... How do I witness this going on? <laughs> you come right as you watch another flap, 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 bonk into the ground. <laughs> Deidre's just like encouraging Cece all the way and be like, if you, can, if you keep on trying and if you get higher each time, you can get more apples. <laughs> this might sound mean, but are they getting closer? Do you just gonna like glare at him? Dane is just gonna stand passive, just like he doesn't know if he's made a mistake or not. Do you just gonna continue glaring? Just like, like prolong eye contact. They will not look away from you. Yeah, Aurelia. After a hot second, just goes. You'll have to excuse Deidre. That's just her face sometimes. No, it's but not. We've is... gotten him to glide, so we're getting somewhere. Deidre's Dane gonna be like, "No, I'm back. actually angry." <laughs> <laughs> like the the entire situation is going over his head. He doesn't completely get. Can I try to? Can I try to like pick up on that? <laughs> you absolutely can. Give me a insight. Okay. You trying to hide this, Dane? No, he just doesn't <laughs> understand. Oh, so I it, so I know. 
Yeah, it's it's pretty darn obvious that he just he doesn't get the point you're trying to make to him. Okay, he's just gonna come over here and be like, like get like literally like fly up so that they're eye level with you because I know Dane's tall. Um, and just like get eye level and be like, listen here, bitch, I am trying to help this this adorable little baby learn to fly, and he needs encouragement. And he is getting some. And I don't need negativity coming in here and getting in his cute little head. Do you understand me? And you're just going to try to say this like under their breath so Aurelia <laughs> does not hear this. But Cece also does not hear this. Negativity? <laughs> like, just... He's just going to ask it in the most innocent of tones. He's just going to sigh and be like, why is everyone here so fucking stupid? Um, as if they can talk. Um, <laughs> he's, just, he's just gonna be like, "You're gonna make him feel bad." He's trying his best, and he's doing really good. All things okay. considered. That's what I was asking to make sure if he was doing good. Now that I know he's doing good, I can. Say I'm proud. <laughs> you say you're proud regardless. Unless you want to fight me later on. <laughs> you're always proud of the baby. Deidre is also <laughs> continuing, continuously trying to hide their, like, like, they're trying to speak softer than normal because they're like, I do not need them hearing me. Um, If you want to try to hear them, I'll make that a post. It's not going to be good for me. My stealth is bad. <laughs> you're good. Like, I- <laughs> I feel like really is in the background looking at Dane with the expression of, yeah, she cares. We all know she cares. We're letting her think she's slick. <laughs> it's hard for me to be not. I like to say what I see. It's hard for me not to. I'm imagining Deidre can see the confusion and see this interaction on his face, and Deidre's gonna be like, what? Yeah, because Dane is just completely confused. Like, no. He's just gonna be like, what are you confused about now? <laughs> Dane. Yeah. You ruined a bond point with CC, which gets you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Because at this point, you nothing but a warm hurt. feeling in your chest. <laughs> no, literally. At this point, PC has not stopped looking at you because food friend flew over there. New person. Stare. <laughs> Prolonged eye contact stare. <laughs> I'm just imagining Dane, CC, being confused as shit all the time. <laughs> okay, with that. You guys can move to Titus. <laughs> oh, right. What, 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 wasn't he supposed to tell us something? Yeah, he was. I, I was Which, by the way, I want you all to realize this. Tarek <laughs> is right there. He has not moved from that spot since you guys left and came back. He watched all of that unfold. <laughs> and he's giving I'm... you all the most what the fuck looks. <laughs> or really, in response to that look, we've had a very long day. I just imagine Tarek's like, I'm really? a tired dad. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <sighs> Unhinged. Okay. <laughs> let's go see our favorite boy. Woo. Yeah, okay. Let, let's uh anyway, so Titus is here. Let, let's go over and see him real quick, all right? He's just gonna be like, why didn't you say something sooner? Where is he? <laughs> He's <laughs> right over there. I was asking that <laughs> okay, never mind. We can just go over there. And we'll talk about this later, okay? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely no brain cells over there. No, literally. <laughs> Jay- Dane is just confused and like if he did something wrong or not. He's like, what? <laughs> asked. Uh, it's okay, buddy. Chaotic trio, chaotic trio. Who's no, the you other need person Jackie for that? I was about to say, who's the other person in this? CC. 
<laughs> no, <it's laughs> no, no, like literally. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh! Hear me out. The three no. of them in a in a in a thing. I don't know what. Stop it. But the three of them on their own. You I, I need to, to see this. The episode. Go. <laughs> And uh, Dane just kind of like putting that behind him. She's like, "I'll deal with that later." Um, well then, uh, that is. I I I managed to gather everybody. <laughs> I want you to understand. I saw all of that. I didn't hear any of it, but I saw all of that. And also, I've talked to the people here, dude. You can just ask for a notepad. The rogue faction. That's like. It's like asking to buy a newspaper. It's not even worth the pennies it costs. Here. And like he reaches into a bag of holding and gives you like a pen and paper. Could have just asked any of us. Noctis and Morik were here. And I'm almost positive they should have asked you. And if Every- they didn't, Noctis, look at you. I will kill them. Everyone no, was telling me no. to go towards you. So I was waiting till you got here to ask you for one. You were offered paper, pencils, and pens on multiple occasions. Okay, so you're just a dumbass. You just He's like yes. fresh. <laughs> Clearly. He is I am just a new person fresh. in a new world trying to understand what the fuck is going on. You want the summarized version of it? Because I can give it to you. I have already got a multitude of bullet points. Looks at his arms. <laughs> you did not, Jesus Christ. I have a question. Fine. I have a question. Are his arms like, is he like carving into his arms? Or no. no, he's writing on them with a pen. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, we're at least not seeing that happening. Okay, so. And then you see him pull up a little, like, digital list and swipe five whole little options off the list. No physical quest for any of you now. Jesus. <laughs> you need to earn that back. <laughs> oh. right, come on, Titus. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to fight a dread bear with that motherfucker? He's pretty good in a fight, actually. He is. Shut up, Noctis. <laughs> what are you saying to me? I mean, something I realize I cannot fight with. So I'm going to retract my statement, but the offense is still there. <laughs> I, I mean, we did just get back from, you know, that. But yes, he's pretty good in a fight. Okay. I have. I ha- I've restocked my stuff. I have. Okay, I have, like, three things you guys can do for items. I'll go ahead and list the items that you guys can get, but just for love of all, of all that is holy, guys, please don't let him absolutely destroy this. There is... We have a request. Do you guys want to see my wares first, or do you want the request first? I'm sorry... Talking to him, Dane, just completely was like a flashbang of a paragraph. There, there. It's okay. What have you got, Titus? I have... Hmm. I have three quests. I have restocked healing potions, general goods, grenades, whatnot. Uh, I got some... I actually got this really weird thing. I don't know what it is yet, but I think I can make a profit off it. A thing? Yeah, a thing. Deidre's going to ask to see the thing. (laughs) Thank you, Deidre. And then looks at all of you. Doesn't hurt to ask. I'm a merchant. People ask me about things all the time. They don't ask to see it that often. And like he gives you like the like the full on the what motion of like clearly he's had a long day. (laughs) He's just like, wait, why not why not ask to see the thing? And he reaches into his bag of holding and he pulls out 
a weird mirror-looking device, like a compact mirror, but there's clearly a gemstone, like a rugged, uneven, probably just pulled out the dirt kind of gemstone uh, in his hand. You just want to, like, go forward and then, like, look at it and be like, can I touch it? No. Why? Because this is apparently something... It's it's a one use kind of thing, technically two uses, but we found out how it works the hard way. Mm. But it replays it replays like a scene that happened wherever you place it down. So if you want it, you can place it down wherever, and it'll play the last important scene, like um. Say you're wondering, how the hell did they open this door? Put one down, pop it open. You know the code now. We don't know how it works yet, but we know it works. You're just going to be like, you just said how it works. No, we don't know how it records what's happened when it's not there before. Hmm. I can't give you a demonstration. This is the last one I have in stock at the moment. Where do you find it? We mined it from a village. Dane looks up from his new notepad and he's just like, what? <laughs> That's raw? It's <laughs> raw. We think, currently, the working title for this stuff is called an Echo Artifact. It's an Echo from before the cycle, mixed with an artifact of history. Interesting. So, it has special properties. Found it. And I'll be blunt with you, the way we found out what this thing does is one of the excavators opened it, and full on I was looking at myself chewing out somebody who just got hurt because I had to verbatim say Great, now we gotta call Noctis. And then, like, five minutes later, I hear, Great, now we gotta call Noctis. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so... Record. We found, like, a couple of them. Tested the other ones. Turns out it can look up to a day. A day's worth of information, so... That's cool. Yeah, if you, and like he shows it off and there's this little thumbprint point. If you put your thumb there, you can control what you see. Okay. Like you have control of like the timeline of what you see. Hmm. Hmm. Um, you're just going to be like, what else do you have? I like the prospect of I... grenades. Huh? I like the idea of the prospect of grenades. Grenades would have... be useful. <laughs> we have incendiary, smoke, bounce, and my favorite, pop grenades. What is that? <laughs> we are in a... We are in a place that has a lot of people in here that are still iffy about joining the rogue faction, yeah? Uh, do we? Yes. No. Oh. I don't think it would be smart to test a pop grenade here. Then say what it does. It's hard to describe. Noctis, can you help me out here? <laughs> He's just going to look at Aurelia and be like, Aurelia's good at describing things. Referencing the fucking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have enough time or crayons to explain more to you today, Deidre. <laughs> you just gonna be like, damn. Well, I got crayons. You just gonna like perk up, and they're gonna they're gonna not notice, but their wings are starting to flutter because they're excited. And they just look at Aurelia like. Hee -hee. So. <laughs> What ends up happening is like 
Noctis, take it away. How do pop grenades work, bud? I don't know. What? <laughs> huh? You know? And, like, he kind of shuffles his way over there. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. Grenades do. One moment, one moment. Me and my, me and my friend gotta put, put the elf down. No. Put the elf down. No. Fuck, do you not know what pop grenades do? You're part of like the first team that goes out on places. Yeah, a team with Morik on it. Okay? <laughs> do we need pop grenades when we have a pocket dragon? <laughs> you Damn. make a good point. He's just gonna like. He's all... he just gonna like all... raise their hands. I will be with you in a moment. But you guys aren't always with. Not with, you know, Morik. I can regenerate by fighting. We're sent into fighting zones. Grim is a fucking stealthing nightmare. Okay. That's only like two of the teammates. Isn't it like a four-person team? Titus? Yeah? You're part of that team, dumbass! <laughs> Wait, I thought we were supposed to get like a fourth member. Oh, they're still in training! I'm right, 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 right. Still? <laughs> hey, Orlane, do you have enough energy to slap somebody? Maybe. Smack Titus. Full force? <laughs> Just immediately Dealer's perking choice. up. I'm Dealer's choice. And then Titus goes, You're not gonna smack me. You just like, do it. Do it hard. Hold on. <laughs> or lame. And then just, you're right. I'm not going to smack you. And then proceeds to kick him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they wouldn't smack me off oh, with my mouth. <laughs> you would need I'm a good. guy with I'm glasses. Good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Not just, just using one of his wings, just like feather pads. Good job, friend. <laughs> you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses? Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. You know what? I deserve that a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Killing time. Sorry. Need to work better. Um, blah, 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 blah. Ah. Yes, I have pop grenades. They go pop. And by pop, I mean when they go off, they just leave a hole where they were before. Why don't you call them cr crater grenades then? Because we have something called a crater grenade. Or hole nades. Uh, no. Hole nades... The, is a stupid name, and we have something called a crater grenade. It is a grenade that levels the ground downwards. Your husband helped make it. Oh, good. That's fun. Yeah. It's oh, just it's earth magic in a grenade. Just hmm? the immediate, like, oh, I have to explain <laughs> to him the shit that I just did kind of look, and like, <laughs> looking a thousand yards there. Oh, no. It'll be fine. It will not. <clears throat> Anyways. So, yeah, that's what pop grenades do. Kind of damaging to the surrounding area. Uh, and I have, you know, the, the general things. Backup, backup knives for you guys to use and day-to-day -day stuff. Food. Essentials. Oh, uh, a shard I found. A shard? Yeah, what? I found a shard. You're just going to be like, okay, but you said food. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like that amazing home-cooked meal that Grim made. Sorry about this, Marcus. Grim made this amazing home-cooked meal. It was to die for. You're just going to be like, okay, so more about this meal. 
it is apparently an orc special. Like he's just going to start going off on this tangent unless anyone interrupts him. I kind of want to hear the recipe and then I want to talk about this jar. <laughs> no, like he just takes out like a notebook and like starts writing this shit down. I feel like Noctis fully realizes that Orlane is on the verge of another breakdown. It's fine. As Orlane is on the verge of a breakdown, you do hear the more this person Grim is mentioned, the more he gets tense. Oh. Fucking arcade sticky hands his his own hand to Noctis's like side of his face and just goes, Do we need to walk away? No, no, it, it's fine. Clearly not. Jackie, hold hold your bestie. No. Just a pathetic it's wine. Double hold. <laughs> Just it's a wine. It's... Uh, fine, fine. I'll keep holding on to him for a bit longer, but I do have to leave with him. And around that point, you get you got those of you that tune in get the last bit of the info and then it's just a pinch of salt and pepper mixed together because grim has not the best taste he thinks if you, he thinks if you add just pepper it's too spicy we don't talk about it but he's a wonderful cook outside that okay okay but yeah no uh i do have some of that in like a little tupperware thing Mm. If you want Deidre that, that's a. Uh, huh? I think Deidre wants it. Deidre's well, like, yes. Work, well, yeah, I work for Quest for items. You do a quest for me, you get some of these items. I'll do a what quest. Are you guys in the mood? What are you guys in the mood to grab? Food. That shard. <laughs> oh, right. There was a shard. Yeah. Yes, the shard. We don't. Mm, it, uh, well, it's something. You can speak plainly. We think it's a shard, or at least connected to the shards. It's uncertain. Now, what does that Can mean? Can we see it? He reaches into his bag and pulls out a capsule that has a beautiful silver design of what looks like a almost statuesque figure. Oh, that phoenix. Uh, kind of just <laughs> holding, it's like a statuesque figure of a woman with long hair flowing into the back, continuing to the base of this statuesque design. Her arms crossed, and she seems to be kind of singing, almost. Don't know what it is, but it's got the same power as a shard. So we've just been calling it Shard Adjacent. Interesting. Okay. Really, is just squinting at this thing. Can I do like an? Can I do like an insight or an arcana? Or I was about something? to say, can I hit it with an arcana? Yeah, go ahead. Give me an arcana check. DC nineteen. Oh shit. Yeah, that's a four. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Me. I don't think I'll be any better, but nope. Actually, I was. I got five. <laughs> Shall I <laughs> try? Sh- do. <laughs> Do you guys want me to try Arcana? Literally, yeah, sure. you, try fun, you go no for point. it. Literally, anyone try Arcana at this point. No, nope, nope. that's an eleven. Damn, nope. not none of us getting this. Well, I everyone have zero to it. So, I hold on. Was that Orlan? I haven't rolled a single thing this entire session, and I'm gonna try and make it a thing that I don't. <laughs> you can go. Yeah. I will. I'll say this: if you can go a sing, go a single. Yes, you have. What are you talking about? You rolled a dex save. That doesn't count. That story. I had to. (laughs) Oh, so you mean you're not gonna... You're... Okay, you're only doing story rolls. Got it. Yeah. So you're nuzlocking my D&D campaign. Wonderful. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm tired, dude. Can I roll... Oh my god. Aurelia, almost. No, literally. Yeah. What about okay. rolling? Can I roll insight instead to see if that hits? Okay, okay, hold on. Jackie, do you want to try? What about rolling history to like see if we recognize the image Go on the it. capsule? Give me a roll of history with advantage. Woo! Let's go. I'm gonna 
<laughs> Damn. It is a different DC, but with the advantage, I think. Oof. Nope. Nope. That way, no, that's just a dead roll. Roll another one. Yeah, they're no. both. Damn. Are you rolling with advantage or are you just dead rolling? I just did a second dead roll because I didn't. Oh, I rolled didn't before roll the advantage. Power advantage. On. Sometimes those rolls mess up and add themselves together, so. Mm. It's fine. Just. Yeah. Take take the DM giving you a bone. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve? Yep. I will ask you, Jacqueline. Do you mm-hmm. want to hear this here or in private? Let's hear it here. Everybody mute. Do you mean deafen? Or oh yeah. Just mute. Just mute. This isn't here. They chose here. You stare at it for a long time. You try and figure out. It looks familiar almost until. Get this headache. Jackie, don't mute. You get this headache of sorts. And then it's. It's such pain. It like is one of those. It's one of those headaches that forces your eyes closed because you just got to cringe at the pain. And then you see a scene. The torso, base of the giant being sliced, burned away by something. Fire, familiar fire. And you watch that sword be placed back where it was before, at sword stump. You watch the person who's doing all this, humming, whistling. And you... Feel yourself, your body moving on its own. Not your body, per se, but you get closer. You can't be seen. You should be fine. You get closer and closer until you see them unlock and pull out a flute. You start to... You start to say something, but they cut you off. It's rude to peek! It's Jack. And they stand up and they turn to you. No. You hear our room. No, 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 no. And in your eyes, you see it. You recognize that. That. that the guard of a sword. No. You. But thousands of thoughts crossing, filtering through your mind. You can hear them, all of them jumbled at once. Give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, boy. I believe in you. You've got this. Don't you say the sentence. Thirteen. I'll take it. I'll actually, how about this? Do you want to succeed with consequence, or do you want to take the eh knowledge you'll get? Uh, you can, the 13, you'll get half knowledge, but if you succeed with consequence, uh, you will get the full knowledge of what the important thought is. Let's say succeed with consequence. Can't be you. For Blight's human. And then you watch as Jack strolls closer. And then their eyes turn, his eyes turn yellow, his face not changing, but you see his face. Things that someone outside looking in could only catch. It's a face of pain. A face reacting in a way it doesn't want to. Like someone's moving the face, but it is not the owner of the body. As the hair returns to stark white, and an insulting sentence you can't catch is said to Alrune before the laughing starts. You see the laughing. It's pained laughter. 
forced laughter. Tears are coming out of his eyes. Something is not right. This twisted psychopath you know looks hurt. And eventually you see him fade away. Thousands of thoughts crossing again through your mind. Not your mind, but Al Rune's. And then one that pops in the most. I have to save him. I let the others down. I can't let him down too. And Al Rune walks out, walks off as your vision is cut suddenly. Back to the present where you are, as you can see, now there are a couple people looking at you, because everything that happened earlier in the session happened in live time for Jackie right now. You may now all unmute, and I told you that that scene would make sense later. <laughs> Genuine question. At... What's up? Oh, sorry. Mm. A uh, genuine question. What is the connection there? Uh, what do you mean? What is the connection? What's the connection? How does it make sense? Did I leave a Did I leave a piece out? You might have. Maybe. Fuck. You remember? Okay, then. Hold on. Let me scroll past this. Okay. Did I mention the scene where there is a memory of someone holding a sword with that design? Yes. The hilt of what that shard is is connected to Jack. Mm. Okay, because as you were talking, you called it the guard? You said something about a guard of a sword, and I'm like, okay, that doesn't make any sense. The, a guard goes around that... your hand, it wouldn't be shaped like a figurine. Yes. It's, okay, let me try and rephrase it this way. It's the underguard. It's a design for the underguard, not the actual top guard. Hmm. The hell is an underguard? Okay, so you know how the blade is right here? Why am I trying to show you this in person? Hmm. So you know how the blade is at the top? The pommel! Thank you, Orlane. <laughs> oh, today's a day. Today has been a day. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm fucking a little weird today. I forget it's how been... things are called. It's been a weird day. It's a wobbly it aluminum sheet day. Yes, we did say that at the beginning. So, the pommel, thank you. It is the pommel, not the underguard. God damn, now I hate my... No one tell, no one tell Nini I said this. <laughs> <laughs> I, will die, I will be murdered. Not murdered, but judged severely. Yeah. That's enough. <laughs> she might back also get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, the pommel. God, I'm an idiot. Yeah, no, the pommel. The thing, the shard that currently Titus is showing off. Jackie, you recognize as the pommel of a sword. Underguard. God, I'm going to not live this down. This is my echo, yeah, moment for this campaign. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So, Jackie. Yeah. Every some people are looking at you because you took that amount of time as the starting point, that little point, and literally had that happen to you in live time. You know what the fuck that is. Do you say anything to the group or do you stay silent? I feel like Jackie is both like trying to say something, but also ow her everything. Yes. Fair and valid.
So rather than like actually saying something, she just quickly like signs that it's not a shard, it's just the pommel of a sword. She just like signs this? Yes. Uh who knows who here knows signs? I'll say that's thieves can't. Oh. oh. Might I pitch an idea to you, sir? Go for it. The sign language is an ideal nonverbal communication for use in the field when you don't want the enemies to hear you. Learned a new thing. You all know sign language. Basic. So, anybody who wants to pay attention to Jackie, you know it. You see, not shard, pommel. I will say Orlane and Jackie probably have like a secret version of it. Like not just the tactics and basic words, like full sentences and shit. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Do we need to take five minutes so you can wake up? We're going to take a five. Sounds good. We're going to take a quick five minute break. Go to the bathroom. I know the day is sleepy, but go ahead and just like walk around a little bit. Stretch your legs, Elaine. Well, aren't we actually getting close to a. Yeah, we're normal... getting close to 10. Yeah. I want to uh, I want to at least like end on the point where you guys are heading towards a place, which is mm-hmm. just a little bit away from this. Because you guys did pick up items and info that you can trade in. Uh, I will say this real quick. If everybody could remind me if you guys picked up anything interesting item-wise. Deidre. For (laughs) you could trade in at Titus' shop. You know, something wild. Like giant apples. (laughs) <laughs> uh, did I I won't anything weird. <laughs> oh god what are you cackling at <laughs> just the way you said that why someone could remind you if you picked anything up Jira that you could ch- that you could trade in at Titus's shop, like giant apples. <laughs> yeah, that's how I talk genuinely to people. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry and uh, Trifon and Deidre can attest to this. I talk in a weird manner. I don't think I picked anything odd up. Do you have info? Crown shark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crown sharks are not a thing that the others know about. Spoiler. Sorry. Still <laughs> giving you something. Just like, where, well, there was the ground shark thing. Yeah, there was that. What was that? Now that I'm thinking about it, no one's mentioned anything about it. Oh, is this blank asking the DM? More or less, uh, Dane asking the group. It's like, so what was that? Because I know me and Typhon, or Trython, sorry. Thank you. Oh, Brown Shark! I'm correcting myself now. (laughs) I know me and Trython encountered it, but we never actually saw it right it was just always under the ground it was always in the ground and it was tentacles whenever it was you said tentacles but yeah yeah so calling it honestly uh, calling it a shark probably wouldn't be all that correct anyways mm-hmm. yes but ground octopus doesn't sound right <laughs> ground squid. if you want to look me dead in my soul and say ground squid is terrifying you're lying <laughs> have you met a squid Oh no, ground squid! 
Oh no, ground <laughs> octopus. Versus fucking ground shark. What about ground Cthulhu? The- <laughs> Look out, hey, it's an inkling. No words. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> How's everybody feeling for that quick five minutes? I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty oh, good my too. love! Orlane said apparently a cool thing while well, sleepy on mute. Oh, no. the love is so oh, eepies. No. Go ahead and unmute everybody, and we're gonna go pick up and reach the end of the goal. Come on. Mm-hmm. I'm perishing. Okay. Good. We love no. it. We love you. Okay. Ready? Pick him back up. Who catches Jackie signing pommel, not shard? Yaga. Okay. <laughs> Most of the group what giving her a concerned look. <laughs> Orlane and Aurelia, what do you two do with that info? Gently bonks. Uh, Jackie just reaches over, bonk. Uh, bonk. <laughs> yeah, ja- Aurelia will go. Jackie says that's not the shard; it's the pommel of a sword. Like thumbs up. Just you see Titus go pommel of a sword. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, no, I see it. Oh, weird. I mean, okay. not very functional, but quite beautiful. Well, it's like most, from what we've learned, some pommels back in before the cycle, before the cycle, were literally just for design. If it was a great sword, it may have just been just to uh, extenuate the weight, like you know, get it even. Counterbalance. Yeah, that. I wasn't a blacksmith. I've always been a merchant. I'm not a blacksmith either. Don't ask me why I have this knowledge. Noctis just sweating. I can answer that, but now's not the time. I don't need to have Aurelia remember things right now. Let's oh. not. <laughs> he did not. That was Curry talking. That was not Noctis. Noctis would not have said something. But he is definitely like, huh. <laughs> Noctis having a moment over there continuously. Tense moments. The reckoning. Oh, lordy. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, you know, got it, it could just be used for counter, counterbalance, but it has the same effect as the shards. Does that mean a god touched it or something? If I know... No. <sighs> and, like, he can, you can see him looking around and then looks at Noctis. Should we tell them? Go ahead. 90% of this group has touched one of those things now. I think we'd like to know. Gods can't... God, gods can't hold more than one shard. It, They hold two of them pop like they're human. Or one of your grenades. No, no, no. <laughs> Different kind of pop. Okay. Spl- Why am I going into detail with you in this? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no! I'm curious! I will take that notebook back. Okay, I, I still got my arm! the fresh one. <laughs> <sighs> I will... If if you think this is bullying, don't go to Grim. Grim will ruin that man's career. <laughs> Indeed. If you're coming from the person who knows <laughs> who Grim is... Grim would look him dead in the face and say, you look like you don't clean out your refrigerator. <laughs> look, him in the, look him into his soul and then just go, you, sound, you smell like you just found out what a shower is. Oh, decided shit. against it. <laughs> you decided against it. Grim would look you into your very being and go, you must love it when it's nighttime because it's the only time your shadow has a chance to run the fuck away from you. <laughs> so no, I feel like Grim would be the sort of person to say you look like how Bert Kreishner's laugh <laughs> <laughs> You look like how Bert Kreishner's laugh sounds. 
<laughs> that is something that we heard recently that we put inside a the city oh. lights. It was so oh my god. I was drinking something. Good. You were like an intelligent cricket. <laughs> Your brain, <laughs> you look like your, your neck is so long. It has to look it so long. Like going. Stomach. Anyway, we can do this later. Yeah. Um. Glad the insults woke you up, Orlane. No, they didn't. I'm sleepier. <laughs> Wonderful. Um. But yeah. No, he just goes. Look, I can't give it to you guys. It has to be traded. Do you guys got anything you can trade for it? Like, he's begging you, because at the point he realized that this is probably something I don't want to hold anymore. Deidre? Deidre? Are you interested in hearing about a land shark? Or a land squid? I don't know what it is. A fucking what? Really... It... Me hold on, hold on, hold on. Land sharks are real? Looks yes. Like yes. I say thought that was... Hold on. No, you both pause. I thought that's just what we called Morik. <laughs> no. no, no, they are what real. Do you think we named him after. <laughs> they are very much real. They're real and terrifying, and apparently these two watched one e watched or heard one eat someone. Kind no, of watched, kind of heard. Watched it. <laughs> 50 50 both. And Titus just looks so fucking scared. Like, he's, like, lifting a foot up off the ground, looking at down. You got rid of it, right? Well, we it didn't get rid of it, but that? it is definitely dead. Orlane just fucking smiles directly at... <laughs> directly... <laughs> directly at uh, Titus. I'd be like, someone got rid of it. What does that mean? Orlane Why do you do this to me? Fucked it up real good. <laughs> You give me the hippie jibbies. Good. Just the like leans into Noctis more because that's the bestie. You're stuck with me now. <laughs> Just like the smile. <laughs> you fucked. Um So he takes it and goes like, okay, that's that'll get you some things, but that is not enough for a shard. I need something big, guys. Here, wait. Deidre, where is Buddy? Give me Buddy for a hot second. Hold on. D's typing. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, Aurelia's is yeah. asking for Buddy to get a big apple out of Buddy. <laughs> oh, hey, you have a little robot. That's so cool. Hey, why is it opening up like... Boom? Can we choose you to watch... a giant magical apple? Yeah, you all just watch more or less Titus get demolished by a big giant apple. <laughs> As he's just on the ground, completely lets the shard go, and it kind of rolls about right here. You do not need to move. Oh yeah, because Aureli is gonna step in and pick that up. Oh, I was just yeah. It's yeah. in a casing. It's in a it's in a casing. No, Aurelia picked it up first. Yeah, it's <laughs> still in its casing though, so it has no effect. And then you just hear the excited little Alexandra. Squeak. Aurelia putting a hand to the side of her head. Can we get that again in English, my lady? Do you want to hear more about, like, if you just want to hear more about the cryptic shit, I got nothing. I can give you words of encouragement, though. Sure, I'll take some words of encouragement. Uh, hey, D, give me a dex check, mm -hmm. or dex save real quick. I'll say, has Deidre held a shard before? No, but <laughs> um, oh, my love. We, we appreciate it. Okay, real quick, who has not held a shard before? That would Dane. I have I it. Trifon hasn't either. So Deidre, Trifon, and Dane have not held a shard yet. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. 
Jackie, Orlane, and Aurelia have held shards, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll say you go to open it, and then DJ kind of just takes it from you. Kind of like, not much force, but just like, swipe. Deidre, do you think you can be vocal for a bit? Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, pause, pause. Actually, hold on. Aurelia. Yeah? Give me a dex save returned. Beautiful. No. Oof. Okay. I want you all to hold a shard, but at the same time, you were all supposed to hold a shard already, but we lost two people. So. Hello. Deidre, if you can be vocal, we'll let you hold the shard, but if not, Wah -ha -ha. Dane or Trifon can have a go. Wah -ha -ha -ha. Deidre? Hello. There you are. I'm back from the dead. Let's go. Cool. Okay. Do you want to try holding a shard? Ye. Yeah. Okay. So, I'll say it better this way. Aurelia, you do not lose the little capsule. You pop it open to grab it, and then the tiny Deidre hands just yoink into it. <laughs> Full on, like, Deidre, no, kind of moment. What do you have? A knife! No! What do you have? A shard. God damn it. <laughs> no, literally. <laughs> You are going straight to bed after this, man. <laughs> I'm good, man. No, you're not. Uh, Deidre, you hold the shard and you watch the world just like fade completely to black. And then you hear ting, ting, ting. It's a hammer hitting an anvil with something in between it. And you see a large figure, about five foot eleven, close to six feet, but not in like that way of like, ooh, tall, burly, like kind of like on the heavier set of people. Just kind of ping, ping, ping over and over. Boy, you okay. built like Hephaestus after he decided to take an acid trip. I'm screaming. <laughs> you just can you like kill me? You're just gonna be like, hello? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, hello there! As a large, as a heavyset, large Triton woman turns around and looks at you. Oh, hi there! How you doing? Where are we? Oh, we're just in your, we're, we're in your mind. I've set up a little shop here. I'm Colleen, how are you? Colleen Belgor, how you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm fine, I think. Am I dead? No, no, I'm dead. You're good. Did oh. You touch, did you touch one of the things? One of the shards? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, well, shard is, shard is a thing. Yeah, I guess you could call them that. It's kind of rude, though. Oh? What should we call them? Well, what they're, it's just, it's a piece. You're holding a piece. Oh. Well, what do you got in your hand there? Looks at their hand. You're still holding it. The pommel. Part of a sword? Yeah. It's part of, if I remember correctly, he called it... Ah. Siren's Shining Song. Ah, that nerd. He always had the weirdest name for things. But he was a good boy. Very, very good boy. So, wait, if you're dead, how are we talking? Well, the shard connects you. That there is one of the legendary weapons. It's a piece of it. It is a piece of one of the seven legendary weapons. Siren's Shining Song. It belonged to... Well, he wasn't our leader, but he was definitely the moral of the group. 
if that makes any sense, you know? Tried to do what was right, but maybe because he was a paladin. Eh, not my thing. I just got angry whenever it came time and hit things pretty hard. That's why we're connected, you see. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry about this next part. Wait, why are you sorry about the next part? Round gives way as you fall. Oh, and shit. you hear a very distant, and I'm so sorry, this is going to be done for Looney Tunes, but it's just too funny not to do. As you begin to fall, you can't fly up. You just hear. As you fall into the pitch black, and eventually you land, thudding on the ground. Oh. You. Feel the wind knocked out of you as you try to stand and you turn, you put your hands on the ground and you feel, you see actually a raging ocean behind a wall of glass cracking, but the cracks heal the more they're made until you realize you're standing on something. You don't know the name of it. You look out, you see nothing, nothing. But in the distance, uh -huh. you do see one thing. Something large. Something guarding a doorway. Door giving off tremendous light. But is whatever is stopping you from going that direction is large. It is a beast of exponential danger and uh -huh. power. You don't know. Your instincts running wire, wild. If you could take that beast on, if you could survive even a stare down from it, but your eyes do not leave you. They do not turn away from that beast. Until you hear again the tinging, metal clashing with metal. You turn away to look at what that noise is. It's maybe Kalein. But the moment you turn away, you hear it. The thuds. It, those thuds were not something wild before. It was not the ocean beneath this glass that you were standing on. It is the beast. It is running towards you. You know, if you turn back, it'll be too late. So you start running. You run as fast as your tiny legs can take you, trying to fly, but there's too much weight on you. Keep moving forward and forward and forward towards the clanging of metal until you trip, fall onto a crack, and you sink into the red ocean beneath you. The beast stands outside, staring into this ocean, not following, never daring to follow. The ocean itself, feeling very welcoming. But it does not hold you for long. As you fall once more, the water ending abruptly, and you land on the ground once more, hopefully for the last time, and you hear this noise. Sounds like crying, maybe? You're uncertain. You turn to look at it, and you are in a forest now. And in that forest, you see a figure made of iron, but clothed, a blade in front of them, covered in moss and overgrowth, clearly left to the time around. You take a step towards them. You reach out to them, and they grab you. A voice you don't recognize speaks to you from this figure, this automaton. The answers you seek will befall themselves to you. Be patient. Trust yourselves. You will succeed. The worlds believe in you. And you wake up. As for you, everybody sees you suddenly kneeling on the ground.
Um, so they just gonna just like look around um at everyone very confused. You just checked our private messages and I see Deidre gives Titus an apple for tasty meal, upgrades for Buddy and flight help for CC gives an apple. Uh yeah, no. Everybody kind of sees you for a bit. They see this, and for as nightmarish as that vision was, Deidre. Yeah. You can't help but feel a little warmth as you remember Kalane's words. Kind of, not Kalane's words you heard during this vision, but you can hear her again just, You did great, champ! Before she fades away again. And with that, you guys are able to, I'll say we'll finish up the shopping and then you guys will end there, okay? You guys okay with this or do you want to go ahead and call it here? I'm very sleepy. We're going to call think, it here. Yeah, let's call it here. Go ahead and stop the recording.